Eifto. Blond, 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 blond. Eifto. My name's Kogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. With me I've got British and Commonwealth super middleweight challenger, Paul Smith. How are you, Paul? I'm all right, mate. You? Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. We're at Planet Hollywood here. Um, a bit of a low-key press conference today, quite short and sweet. It's quiet, just it's the same as always, isn't it? You know, you've, you've, you've got to do them and they've, they've got to be done to sell the fight. But, you know, they, they, I've, I've been, in, been here and seen them all. They, they, they just they annoy me more than anything. You know, it's a day off training where you, where you don't need it. It's a trip down to London on a train. And, yeah. Yeah, but it's got to be done to sell the fight and to, to, to you know, to get the interest going. Um, after your defeat to James Segal, I know you, there was talk of you possibly dropping down to uh, middleweight. Um, your, your next two fights after that were at super middleweight. So are you 100% sure now that your most comfortable weight is at the super middleweight division? Definitely. Listen, it's, it's about opportunity. It, there's, there's, there's making middleweight and there's being strong at middleweight, you know. And, and that was the, that was the only issue and the only worry. I, I know I could get to middleweight, but it's whether I'd be strong and, and performing on the night. But with with the, with the fights, I had my first fight 11:13 and my second fight 11:12. Um, you know, it was, was going to be a bit lighter, but this fight came up just before it, and there's no point in me weighing in at 11 stone nine if I'm going to be fighting at 12 stone in my next fight. If I'm not going to middleweight, I'm not going to try and get down to 11 stone nine and fight at that. I feel I'm, I'm best when I'm at 11 stone, 12 and a half, 11, 13, and, and that's when I'm at my, my strongest and my sharpest. I was in great shape for my last fight. I've been in great shape for the one before, and I'll be in, in even better shape for this one because of the base I've got. Um, after you win over Paul Samuels, you, you said in a post-fight uh, interview that uh, George Groves has been calling you out on YouTube videos. I haven't seen them videos. It was a while ago. It was last year. That he, he, you know, he's on a video on, uh, on YouTube, you know, coincidentally, about seven days after David Day done one. Um, I watched a little, a little tiny bit of it what someone showed me where he mentioned my name or something, you know, uh, just like come and fight me or something like that, I think it was. I, I honestly haven't watched all of it, you know, I, I wouldn't waste my time. Um, he, he was mainly giving it to, to, to De Gale as, as he always did back then, but it worked for him. He got the De Gale fight, he, he's won his titles and he's the champion now, but you know, he won't be for long once I finish with him. What's, what's different from last year? What have you learned between the De Gale fight? You've had two fights between your fighting a fighter of similar calibre in, in George Groves. Wait, and what's different now uh, to last year, Paul? Joe Gallagher, plus the feeling that, that I got when I lost the, the title to the Gale. You know, I, I never want that feeling again, and, and I'm not going to get it again. Um, I went in unprepared. I, w I went in with, you know, hardly any tactics. I went in not ready for the fight. When, you know, and, and, and everything was going wrong at the time. Everything's going right now. Everything's, everything's spot on in, in my life, in, in my my own life, I'm happily married, I'm settled down, I'm relaxed, I'm, I'm you know, comfortable in the gym. And I'm happy in boxing again, I'm, I'm loving getting up and going to the gym, I'm loving getting up half six in the morning, Saturday mornings, driving to the moors up in, up in, up in Manchester and running up in the moors, eight mile runs and all that, you know, and I'm, I'm happy doing that. I wasn't liking boxing when I was fighting to Gale, when I was fighting Tony Dodson. I had this feeling when I was boxing Tony quickly for the British title, when I was challenging for it the first time. I found out I was fighting him and I jumped all over my bed in the bedroom like a little, like a little kid, you know what I mean? I got the same feeling when I knew I was fighting James, uh, George Groves. You know, I'm, I'm buzzing, I'm delighted and I'm happy with boxing again and it's a big factor. That, you know, my mate Macklin always says that happy fight is a good fighter. Um, and just finally, I've got to ask um, how your brother Stephen is. Is he, is he okay? He's fine, yeah, you know, his, his pride's uh, more than anything as, as you'd expect. But he's a strong character. He's a strong kid. He's, he's, you know, I love the bones of him, and, and it was hurt and seeing what happened. But the hurt we're all feeling as his family is nothing to what he's feeling right now. And you know, I, I, I can, I can relate sort of in a way because I lost my titles and I lost in a bad way. And you know, the best advice I got was, was from Ricky Atten. Champions, a sign of a champion is how he bounces back. And that's the only advice anyone can give Stephen, and he will bounce back 100%. And I, I really can't wait to see him back to his best with a smile on his face with his titles back. All right, well, Paul Smith, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London again. Um, like I said, we hope you and George Groves deliver a classic because it's on paper, it's a fantastic fight for a neutral boxing supporter. So, really hope you deliver it. Okay, no reason why it shouldn't, is there? Thank you very much. Coogan Cassius with Paul Smith for iFilm London. Thank you very much. I feel blunt, 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 blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.